Hello and welcome, amigos, to our fifth podcast. Today we are in a special location with a special guest. The location is Cine from Los Amigos Tulum. So behind the camera there's actually a huge screen and we inside of this of this sofa sofas we have where people enjoy the unique Cine experience. And last year we got actually TripAdvisor number one with this concept. So here's a special guest, Jaron. We met this year in China. In China we've been on one of the biggest real estate expos in the world, the LPS China, in Beijing. And uh, I met you, it was a pleasure to meet you, and Likewise. you fall in love with our projects. Yeah. He made presentations there, even in Chinese, because you know the country very well. Yeah. And we invited you to visit us here in Tulum. Now you're here, pleasure to he have you here. Maybe explain a little bit, what is your background, and how, how did you find Tulum so far? Well, uh, as far as real estate, I go around the world and I showcase exclusive properties and, and developments <clears throat> in private events and parties and things like that and uh, so when we met and you described to me your different projects and the sustainability first of all i thought it was very cool you know the whole concept the visionary look into real estate and so i didn't know what to expect and i said then this is what i normally do i go to visit the properties to have a first-hand experience and so i came here i'm here in tulum and uh Maybe I just want to share with you how I feel, you know. Like I yeah. came in. That's what we all want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I came in. It's summer in Mexico. It's hot. Yeah, right now it's hot. And as soon as I walked into Central Park where I'm staying, I mean, you definitely have a feel of an oasis, like beautiful oasis. But now it's a week later. So I stayed here for a week and I totally fell in love. I mean, I, we saw your other developments and things, but it's totally falling in love in the concept in the spaces, in, in the things, in the details that you do, how you incorporate the nature into the development. So I'm dealing a lot with luxury real estate, which basically means cost a lot of money. And this, I think, is a little bit better. Wow. You know, it's like because it's so authentic and, you know, really at the highest level, and we talked about it in China, it's all yeah. about the experience. And the experience here is, is because it's nature. You feel nature is part right. of you and... So it's very special and I'm looking forward, you know, taking it with me around the world and, and tell this story, tell this Los Amigos story is, yeah. is, is very special. I mean, I don't know if you know it, but it's very special. Yeah, that's true. You opened our eyes a little bit. You said, man, because you, you need to explain a little bit what you do half of the year, actually, because I met all your family and I said, is he often home? I said, no, half of the year, Jaren is actually just traveling around the world. Because you meet people who want to invest in real estate, high luxury real estate, like you said, all around the world, right? right. And uh, yeah, to have a background from a person who is in contact with this kind of luxury, the highest luxury real estate, and you, yeah. you showed me properties, like amazing. And that you said, we fit in this, or we even, we have a better vision and better concept, actually, than most of these developers. This is like, I said, you need to come. I, I think, you know, I mean, you have regular real estate, and then you have luxury real estate where you have finer detail, more expensive um, amenities, you know, so it makes it more expensive. So that's the regular definition of luxury. Right. But the experience oftentimes is compensated, you know, and I think here, and, and this is after a week being here and touring your different properties, you can see a consistency that, that the idea of delivering a unique experience is, is, is dominant. Yeah. Like the people living here, need to have a special experience of nature, of life. Exactly. So I, that's why I'm saying it's a little bit a higher notch, higher than luxury. Not necessarily because it's more expensive than luxury, it's just more authentic. You really fall in love. You, you, you know, it's like some things money can't buy. Right, it's right. either you have these authentic things, and, and this is like in art, you know. It's, like you, it's not like if you paint harder, it's more. Right. It's like there's something authentic and you fall in love in it. And, and this is my experience here with, with a different project. So, so it's not just like one shot. It's like I went to another project and another project. And then you start getting the idea. It's very consistent. You know, and that's why, I mean, I feel privileged to, to be here and then showcase it, take it around the world. It's, it's super cool. You know. So what do you do exactly the six months you're not home or even if you're home? What, what is your background? Because you originally you're a doctor, you studied medicine yeah, so and you wanted to help people. And yeah. then you realized you can help actually more people in real estate, right? Because you have... Exactly. Tell us a little bit of this background. Well, I've been doing uh, Chinese medicine mm -hmm. for 30 years. Oh. 
And uh, I, I got quite a bit of a name around the world, so I've been traveling for at least 20 years around the world uh, teaching. I was invited to teach, so that's part of me. Traveling is not just with the real estate now. It's like for a long, long time I'm traveling. And, What's the medicine? And, and teaching, and, and I have an online school, and I have clinic, and I have students around the world. But I realized that, you know, in order to help more people, you just need to be more successful and then you can contribute more and give more. So that's my mission and that's why I think there's a lot of uh, synergy here with your concept. Yeah. It's like helping more and taking care of nature and people. And um, <clears throat> so, so, th so this is my background. So when I started doing real estate, um, it's really just flying way too fast and which I'm happy about this is I wouldn't say it's going up like this it's like really shooting up to the sky and uh, and I think it has all to do with the intention that's why when I look at your developments you clearly see that you don't think about the money you think about the experience and that's why this thing I think will be very successful and should go all over the world as much as possible you know this sustainability kind of ideas that you keep on bringing more and more like every developer oh we have new ideas like more right. sustainability more caring for nature it's just so beautiful yeah. there's so much technology now available which gets you excited right? because you available is available and so it gives you the option to put it inside the project right? so yeah. that's what he said we have the mission to make a positive impact i feel the same this is your inner mission too and that's why we have the same values and a lot of things and, and yeah, that's the most important and that, that clients feel what you just described, right? Yeah. They feel this is not a developer, I just want to make money. They feel the developer want to make a difference on no? a positive impact with the water system, with the, the nature integration and all the technology, which is so fascinating. No? And it's great to see someone from so outside because we've been never in Tulum so far, right? No. And experience and see everything through, through your eyes has been really a cool experience. No? And yeah, and, and I think uh, like from what I've seen in your developments here in this town is because I see the older parts of town, I see other developments and I see how you, you know, spread in the town in a positive way, changes the entire character, which I think is very special. Like if you look forward, I don't know, but another 10, 20 years, it's like Los Amigos created Tulum the way it is, which is very modern and sustainable. We were talking about it, how people we want to start copying what you're doing. We love that, which, which actually, great. yeah. Because yeah, we think great. everyone should leave green space, should make treatment plans, and should uh, generate as much energy as they can on renewable sources. And so yeah, so that's what we're trying, actually, that in, in affects the whole market, right? And I think, you know, I mean, and I've seen and talked to several developers in other places, and normally it is the bottom line. What can you sell? How much can you sell? What do you need to compromise to make more sales? Right. It's business. But I think we often forget ourselves like this. When we right. just talk business, forget the environment, forget about people, forget this. And, and I think you are a kind of a leader, even though you're, you're not the biggest developer in the world yet. <laughs> but it's a, it's a leadership position. That's not even the target. Yeah, yeah no, but I'm yeah. saying it's a leadership. You need someone with vision right, to, right. to lead the way. You exactly. know, to, Otherwise, things get more corrupted, and so I'm very excited. You know, I have the personal experience here to realize. After one week, right. my family is here. My wife is like, "We're definitely coming back in December." Like they asked already to come back in high season. We say, "Hey, don't come back in high season because <laughs> the end be of December busy. or something is like." If Tulum is so crowded, maybe you, you did a good time right now. Cause yeah, but, but you know, sometimes... It's actually, uh, this is funny, it's actually uh, a year-round destination. Right? People always ask when is the best season, I say, come whenever. Now it's a little bit warm, but you still have this amazing experience. Right? But I think, you know, if everyone wants to come back, it's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign. Because if you go somewhere and you say, nah, nah. we don't want to come back again, that's not... And here is definitely a place you want to come back yeah. to, you know. And um, yes, I'm very, very excited. You cool. know, it's maybe I can also add that you know, in the, in the, like very luxury circles, I think that's my experience. People actually don't talk about luxury things anymore. They do talk about experiences. Exactly. This going back to nature. So it's like it's the over luxury. Like let's make a new term. This is not luxury, this is over luxury. People that have been through luxury, now they want what you have to offer. 
you know, we, without the price point, doesn't matter. That kind of an authentic experience, I think, it's, it's really special. Cool. You know. Man, good to hear from someone from the outside. <laughs> You're originally from Israel? Originally from Israel. I then you traveled to the US or what? I lived in Germany for three I years. I lived in Germany. I lived in New Zealand. I lived in China for four years. And then I moved to the US 20 some years ago. Wow. So this so guy really knows the world. Speaks yeah. the world language, speaks English, speaks even German. Some German but he speaks Chinese. Chinese. That's impressive. Yeah. I was really impressed that he did the conference. <laughs> and had all these you know, the Chinese words in it. And yeah. I saw the crowd because no one, I didn't know that, but in China, almost no one speaks English. Yeah. So we needed a translator all the time, and you came with your Chinese skills and blew everyone away. Well, right so now. So, okay, we got to learn Chinese now. Right <laughs> now, in my business, I have a collaboration with the organization that, that hosts these private events around the world, including China. Mm. And speaking Chinese is very useful, like taking Los Amigos to China in Chinese and talk to people about what's going on here, how good it is. I think it's going to be really good. Yeah. yeah. That was interesting to see because, yeah, people love the project, even if they have amazing projects, the television center and everything, what they build it is crazy. But yeah, like you said, it's pretty unique what we have here in Tulum. Yeah. And it's interesting for people all around the world. And that is maybe the reason that Tulum grew in the last years as it grew. Because it's never been a tourist place promoted by international agency or something, which is public because people like you came and said, I want to come back and recommend it to friends and family. And that's why Tulum is so popular today. You know, I could also add uh, this week I had experience with your company in your office and your bi-weekly party and in the setting of the stone in a new project. And um, I can exciting you, week. Yeah, I can tell you that this is also very special, like the, the atmosphere that you have in the company. Culture. It's, it's, yeah, the culture is, is very unique. You know, it's very family-like. Everybody feels the responsibility. And, and this is something also to be proud of. You know? Yeah, that's definitely. No? Everything we do is just because we have an amazing team behind us. No? And it's great that you met the team because yeah. they're actually the ones who make it all happen. Right? We push forward with the vision, but the vision is worth nothing if you don't have a strong team behind you. It turns into reality. No? And glad that you had such a great week because we had we had not only the Los Amigos party we call every two weeks we do, we had also the first stone event today. Really exciting times because we launched Highland Serenity. It's yeah. our project number 12, I think, already, right? So This, this is unbelievable. It goes you know. quick, yeah. I mean, I, I remember that I was asking you, how do you, how do you build all this stuff? And did you tell me, well, I don't build it myself. There are other people, there are a lot of people are involved in putting these things exactly. together. That's so beautiful. Oh, it's all about teamwork. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm here, that I got this experience, you know. You told me in China, hey, we're all about experience. And I'm like, mm, what experience is you talking is about? Mean? And and I did get it, you know. Nice. I did get it. And so now when I go to places around the world, I'm happy that I can share it, you know. Like, I've been there. I've seen that. I saw the people. I saw what they're building. I think, yeah. I think it's that was our thing in China, right? You said it directly. And it looks, everything you have, it looks amazing, but I need to feel it, right? And it's perfect for a place like Tulum because there is nothing to show so much high or it's not like in China, have this amazing skyscraper. But here it's really about feeling, right? Come and feel and tell me what you feel and feel good. You can maybe recommend it to all your circles. And if you don't like it, don't recommend us. <laughs> we say it always, we don't want a false uh, recommendation. If someone really likes a the product, then the rest comes by himself. Well, can I give you a good recommendation? Mm -hmm. What you guys need to do here next is open a school for developers and have developers from all over the world come here and learn how to do it right. <laughs> That's what I think you need to do. You all know. right. We got a good start already because we got this academy. We have actually Los Amigos Academy. You do we have teach, Los yeah, we have our own academy. We teach every second week. It's going to happen. It happens actually here. Yeah. We teach different qualities because we have so much talented people in our country, in our company. Yeah. That every second week we say, okay, we have an expert here in sales, we have an expert in marketing, we have an expert in engineering, we have an expert, we have artists, we have people who play instruments and everything. So we have so much to teach or to share with people who want to learn. So we open it for the public completely. Yeah. And yeah, developer, I mean, we have 50% 50, 50 of our tours is probably for the competition. <laughs> but we're happy to do that too because we love if other people adapt to these renewable energies because we all win, right? It's, yeah. I make the example always with electric car. If someone drives electric car, everyone wins. 
because yeah. it doesn't contaminate, it doesn't make sound. It's it's a win-win for everyone, and that's that's how it is with with solar panels, with wind turbines, with with treatment plants. If we leave more green space, you know, it's everyone wins if we do this. Right? Yeah. So. Well, you know, like um, for my prior businesses in Chinese medicine, and this I. Uh, and I'm sidetracking for a moment. You know, I belong to a, a Chinese philosophical school. The main theme of that school is to lead by example. Mm-hmm. Like you do things right, and then you can help other people do things right. Yeah. So, and I think that's what you guys are doing, like setting an example. Yeah. What is to do it right? What does it mean? How does it look like? And then help other people to do it or have them copy. Yeah. So I'm just happy to be part of this mission. Jaron, great to have you here in Tulum. Great you had a great experience. Yeah. Always welcome again. Yeah. And uh, thank you for doing this podcast here with us. Eh? Thank you for yeah. having me. It's great. See you on the next podcast, number six from Los Amigos. Thank you for listening or watching us. Thank you.